It's been crazy. I curse the breath of the sea. All of it. Spell this poetry. I don't know where to begin, really. The dreams Everything. The good and the bad has just meshed together. The good. It was beautiful. I know it was beautiful because I can look back on all of it. Pictures, writings, and most of all, movies. That's what everyone knew me as. The kid with the camera. The kid that filmed every moment. But for me, I didn't know who I was. My whole life, I felt like I was drifting. I could stay strong enough to hold my ground, but not strong enough to be my own person. I drifted through life. There were so many times in school, with friends, with family, that I couldn't think for myself. I chased the wrong people and pushed away the right people, people that cared about me. I was running away from something so deep inside me and I couldn't figure out what it was. And once I started getting a sense of what it was, my mom asked me a question. And I just died inside. I was so scared. Was that who I was? Was that my identity? I thought so. I thought that was it. It was so nerve-wracking for a while, but I really thought at the time that I had figured out my identity. And when I opened up about it to people, I felt an amazing sense of freedom. It felt over. I knew who I was, and things were okay. I reached a mini peak in my life in the year 2016. That was <laughs> probably the best year I've ever had so far. Everything seemed to fall into place, and it was this ignorant but beautiful dream nonetheless. I got a phone call, like any regular day, and it was, as usual, my dad, literally the perfect person. We talked about school, life, and future plans, and as always, it pushed me to succeed. Then, later that day, I got another phone call, and my world would change forever from that moment. My heart stopped when yours did. It was a blur, a massive giant blur that I didn't understand. And it's crazy because I just kept going on with my life in this obscure, unreal blur for the next year. A year in which, honestly, I slowly lost my mind. We're going up the lift onto... We're at Keystone. We're going out the 7 Express chair. Today is uh, Thursday, February the 23rd. It snowed six inches last night. So we're having a powder day and we're having a wonderful day in snow paradise. Dad, how do you feel? About to get married. <laughs> I don't remember much about 2017. It was all just one massive blur in which I lost one of the most important people in my life. And not only that, but just when I felt like I found myself, I was slowly losing myself again. My mind was breaking apart slowly until the year after that loss. That's when I collapsed. I just broke.
2018 was when I broke. It all finally hit me. So much changed. That loss was the realization that I was growing up and that no one is guaranteed to be in your life forever. I was irrational, hysterical, destroyed, angry, and just lost. I hit the lowest point in my life and I had so many unresolved feelings. I was alone for months, just mourning all the things that have changed and realized that I had so much with my own character I had to work on. And while it took so many months, I was just very slowly working on myself. Just taking time to reflect not only on the loss of people, but on my own mistakes, my own views on life, and trying to let go of regrets in my past. That's been a big one. There have been so many things in my past I wish I said differently, did differently, and it's so hard sometimes. It's been so long since we last spoke. Two years actually. And there's so much I wish I could have said to you. So many arguments I wish we didn't have. So many times I wish you'd known how much I loved you. I love you, Dad. There's so much that you've missed. So many things I won't be able to tell you about. And I realize also that I can't regret my past. I can't dwell on it. And that's why I made that motto. You only regret the things you don't do. I've reflected so much, worked on my past mistakes, and learned so much about life, people, and myself. While some of the things in my past were so hard, I can't imagine being the person I am today without those things happening, as cheesy as it sounds. I realized that the journey to life and finding yourself can't be done in a book, inspirational quote, traveling, a death, a relationship, or even a YouTube video. It's up to us to have pride in where we've been and where we're going, to follow our dreams, and to give ourselves time to heal and to grow. Live. Live your life. Live it with pride and integrity. Laugh. Enjoy the moment. You never know when it'll be over. Love. It's not about what you want, but what you've got. Appreciate the people you have. And learn. Learn about yourself and your strengths and weaknesses. I want to be alive. So I guess in the end all of that was inside me the whole time. So, what was my identity again? Oh yeah, the kid with the camera, right? Ah, uh, life. What a crazy thing it is brought me all over the place and with all sorts of people you never know what day can be your last I've learned so much to practice gratitude and mindfulness and I know I have no idea where my life is gonna go it's confusing but exciting so with the good times bad times triumphs and mistakes all of it has been an adventure <laughs>